Apply the limit separately here. So this becomes minus 1 divided by a power m into a power m. Because when you apply x as a, this becomes a power m into a power m. So this becomes a power 2m. The value will be equal to n into a power n minus 1. n is 5, a is 1 power 5 minus 1 whose value will be equal to 5 only. So 1 to the power 5 minus 1 is 1 power 4, 5 into 1 is 5 only. Hello everyone, a warm welcome to one and all. This is your Shruti ma'am lecturing in Vidyashram, the temple of excellence, Mysuru. So in today's session, we will be evaluating the limits based on the polynomial function. So we have one standard theorem. Let us see the result for that, which is very important for your examination. And it will be a compulsory question under six marks problem in your examination. So here we have the theorem. So the theorem says, if n is a rational number and a is non-zero real number, then prove that limit of the function of the form x power n minus a power n divided by x minus a as x tends to a will be equal to n into a to the power n minus 1. So we have to prove the result as I said. So this is a very important question for 6 marks in your examination. Now let us prove the result. Now consider the expansion of the term x power n minus a power n. So from binomial expansion we can write this as x minus a into x power n plus x power n minus 1 a plus x power n minus 2 a square plus etc a power n. So this is the expansion of the term or of the binomial term x power n minus a power n. To prove this result, we will expand the term x power n minus a power n using binomial expansion. So this can be simplified as x minus a into x power n minus 1 plus x power n minus 2 a plus x power n minus 3 a square plus etc. The last term will be a to the power n minus 1. So therefore, now consider the left hand side. So here we have LHS or we can write limit as x tends to a x to the power n minus a to the power n divided by x minus a. Now limit as x tends to a in the place of x power n minus a power n we can replace this. So this will be x minus a into x power n minus 1 plus x power n minus 2 a plus I will directly write the last term a power n minus 1 whole divided by x minus a. We can cancel the term x minus a. So this will become limit as x tends to a x to the power n minus 1 plus x to the power n minus 2 into a plus etc. The last term is a to the power n minus 1. Now we will apply as x tends to a. So the result become when you apply the limit the value of x becomes a. So the very first term is a to the power n minus 1 and in the place of x replaced by a it becomes a to the power n minus 2 into a. Similarly, the next term a power n minus 3 into a square plus the last term will be the constant term which is same that is a to the power n minus 1. Now, here you can observe since base or same the powers can be added. So, n minus 2 plus 1 becomes a power n minus 1. Similarly, n minus 3 plus 2 is also a power n minus 1 plus a power n minus 1. Already we had n minus 1 term plus 1 term totally n times we will get a power n minus 1. So therefore what we can conclude limit as x tends to a x to the power n minus a to the power n divided by x minus a can be written as 
n into a power n minus 1. So this is possible whenever n is a positive integer. So here I will take it as case 1 where n is positive. That is the power n is positive. Now we will take the other case that is what happens if n is negative. So here case 2. So n is negative. So let n is equal to minus m now. Now, according to the theorem, it looks like this, replace n by minus m there. So, we have limit x tends to a, x to the power n minus a to the power n divided by x minus a. Now, replace n by m, it becomes limit x tends to a, x to the power minus m, a to the power minus m divided by x minus a. When you have the negative power in the numerator, you can write in a fraction. So, this can be written as limit x tends to a 1 divided by x power m minus 1 divided by a power m divided by x minus a. Now, cross multiply, you will get this as limit x tends to a. Solve the numerator, this becomes a to the power m minus x to the power m divided by. So, these two will be multiplied a power m x power m into x minus a. Now this is what we will get. Now we will apply the limits separately to the given equation now. This x minus a can be written as a minus x or if you take this as a negative, so you can rewrite this as limit x tends to a minus if you take the numerator become x power m minus a power m whole divided by a power m x power m into x minus a. Now apply the limits here you have. So therefore this becomes limit as x tends to a separate this 1 by a power m x power m. So minus you take it outside and write this separately as x power m minus a power m divided by x minus a. The theorem says when you apply the limits of this form that is equal to n into a power n minus 1. Correct. Now in the place of n you have m. So you are applying the limits here. So limit x tends to a minus 1 into a power x power m into limit x tends to a x power m minus a power m divided by x minus a. Apply the limits separately here. So this becomes minus 1 divided by a power m into a power m because when you apply x as a, this become a power m into a power m. So this become a power 2m. And here it is m into a power m minus 1. So, when a power 2m is shifted in the numerator, write minus m separately, this become a power minus m minus 1 because when 2m goes to the numerator, m minus 2m becomes minus m. Now, this is of the same form. So, we have replaced n as minus m. So, it should be in the form of minus m a minus m minus 1. So, now, therefore, this is also produced. Whenever n is negative also, it looks in the same form. That is n into a to the power n minus m, where here n has taken the value of minus m. So, therefore, here also we can conclude that limit as x tends to a x power n minus a power n by x minus a is equal to n into a power n minus 1, where n is taken as minus m. Next, we have case 3. Now, let n is equal to p by q and q not equal to 0 because it is in the fraction form. Now, replace the equation. So, we know the equation as limit x tends to a x to the power n minus a to the power n by x minus a. Replace n by p by q. So, this becomes x power p by q minus a power p by q divided by x minus a. Now write this as x to the power 1 by q whole power p minus a to the power 1 by q whole power p whole divided by x minus a. So here you have limit 
as x tends to a as well. Now, replace x to the power 1 by q as y and a to the power 1 by q as b. So, let x to the power 1 by q is equal to y and a to the power 1 by q is equal to b. Then, if you want x, it is y q. If you want a, then that is b to the power q. Now, here x is tending to a. So, whenever x is tending to a, what happens for y? It must tends to b. So, therefore, as x tends to a, y tends to b. Now, replace each and every term in the equation here. So, that will be equal to limit y to the power p minus b to the power p divided by y to the power q minus b to the power q as y tends to b. Now, divide both equations by y minus b. So, if you divide both equations by y minus b, the numerator become y p b to the power p into y minus b and denominator becomes y power q b power q divided by y minus b. Now, this is of the same form that is limit as x tends to a x to the power n minus a to the power n divided by x minus a will be equal to n into a power n minus 1. Here, if you apply the limits for this function, apply the limit first to the numerator, then to the denominator. Now, I am applying the limit to the numerator. It should take the form of p in the place of a you have b, p minus 1. Similarly, here it is q that is the number given b, q minus 1. Now, this is of the form p by q separately. Here b becomes p minus 1 and here minus q plus 1. So, minus 1 plus 1 get cancelled. This is now p by q, p minus q to the power b. If you divide the power with q, this becomes p by q, b to the power p by q minus 1. Now, b is actually what? a to the power 1 by q. So, replace b by a to the power 1 by q in the equation. It becomes p by q, a to the power 1 by q into p minus q. So, if you divide this, the power becomes a to the power p by q minus 1, which is same as n into a power n minus 1, where n is equal to p by q. So, the last result was same as the first result. So, whether the n is positive or negative or any fraction, it is true for all values of n. So, therefore, what can I conclude is limit x tends to a, x to the power n minus a to the power n divided by x minus a is always n into a power n minus 1. So, this is the result which has to be proved for three cases. Very, very important question for your examination. Now, we will be solving few problems based on the result. What is the result we have just proved now? That is limit x tends to a function in the form of x power n minus a power n divided by x minus a is always equal to n into a power n minus 1. You can take this as an, a standard limit whose value is n into a power n minus 1. Remember, x value must be same, a value must be same and minus in the middle. So, here is my first question. Limit x tends to 2, x power 5 plus 32 over x plus 2. So, first I will write in terms of power, limit x tends to 2, x power 5. Here I need minus, so I will put minus. 32 can be rewrite as 2 power 5. Since I need minus here, I can write this as minus 2 whole power 5. Whole divided by x minus of minus 2. So, this is the function. Now, in the place of x, you have x only. In the place of a, you have minus 2. And n is 
5. So, replace the result. The value is 5 into value of a is minus 2 to the power 5 minus 1 which is power 4. So, even times the negative number is positive only. 2 power 4 is 16. 16 fives are 80. This is the answer. Next question. Now, we have x power 5 by 2 minus 2 power 5 by 2 divided by x power 3 by 2 minus 2 power 3 by 2. My function, it should be in the form of x power n minus a power n whole divided by x minus a. Then only I can rewrite this as n into a power n minus 1. So, if you have x power n minus a power n, it should be divided with x minus a. Your a is 2 power 5 by 2 in the numerator and it is same in the denominator. x minus a means consider only the value of a which is 2. Now divide both numerator and denominator by x minus 2. So what happens? The limit as x tends to 2 becomes x power 5 by 2 minus 2 power 5 by 2 divided by x minus 2. So, this is one term whole divided by x power 3 by 2 minus 2 power 3 by 2 divided by x minus 2. So, this is the second term. Now, apply the limit. So, the equation becomes n into a power n minus 1. So, this is 5 by 2 into 2 power 5 by 2 minus 1 whole divided by 3 by 2 2 to the power 3 by 2 minus 1. So, here 2 and 2 get cancels 5 by 3. Here 2 to the power 5 by 2 minus 1 when it goes to the numerator minus 3 by 2 plus 1 plus 1 minus 1 cancel 5 minus 3 is 2 by 2 again. So, it is 5 by 3 into 2 power 1 which is 2 only the answer is 10 divided by 3. Next question, limit as x tends to 0, x plus 1 whole power 5 minus 1. Now, here this is x power n. The value of x itself is x plus 1. So, the denominator must also contain x plus 1. What I will do here is, I will add plus 1 and subtract 1 so that it looks in the form of x plus 1 whole power 5. 1 power 5 divided by x plus 1 minus 1. Now, it takes the value of x power n minus a power n divided by x minus a. Since x term is not necessary, I need only the a term and the power 5. The value will be equal to n into a power n minus 1. n is 5, a is 1 power 5 minus 1 whose value will be equal to 5 only. So, 1 to the power 5 minus 1 is 1 power 4, 5 into 1 is 5 only. So, clearly this is of the form x power n minus a power n by x minus a. So, our value will be in the form of n into a power n minus 1. So, in today's session, we have discussed a very important concept of the limits that is the limit of a polynomial of the form x power n minus a power n divided by x minus a as x tends to a. A very, very important question for 6 marks in your examination and we have solved a few problems related to it. We will meet you in the next session with a new concept on limits and continuity. Until then, keep watching, keep learning and keep exploring. Thank you.